A new week begins and Gran Turismo 7's newest set of daily races becomes available, although you'll be forgiven for thinking there's something a little bit familiar about these events. That's because, with the exception of some regulation changes, this set of three races is identical to a set that appeared back in April this year, which should give you some idea of what to expect. Race A returns to its usual no DRSR event after last week's change, meaning that neither your driver rating nor sportsmanship rating will change regardless of what happens in the race. It's a standard one make race for road cars centred on the 2003 Audi TT. You'll be racing it for four laps around the reverse version of Autodrome Lago Maggiore's West Circuit, not to be confused with the West End Circuit. This version of the track runs close to the main GP circuit layout, but it skips out turns 3 to 8 to bypass the arena section. That means on this reverse version, you'll be turning left after the bridge rather than right. The TT only needs comfort soft tyres for the race, and it's a regular grid start with no additional concerns. For race B, you'll be driving around the Kyoto Driving Park Yamagiwa circuit, the longer of two courses at this location, for a five lap blast in Group 3 category cars. You can select any vehicle from this class for the race, and it's worth noting that you'll have the brake balance controller available this time, unlike in April, which may bring different vehicles into contention compared to previous races. That brings us to the possibly enthralling Race C, though it depends upon the deities of randomness. It's a five lap race around the famous Le Mans Endurance Circuit, now known as the 24 Heure du Mans Racing Circuit in a rebrand for Gran Turismo 7, using the high performance Group 2 cars, but there's several special considerations here. Firstly, you'll have access to not only the brake balance controller, but also more suspension tuning settings than we've seen over the past couple of weeks. You can tune not only your car's damper compression and expansion, or bound and rebound, but you can also change the natural frequency of the springs too. Not only that, but there's the spectre of rain. Dynamic weather is enabled for this race, meaning that you might encounter a fully wet or fully dry race, or anything in between. More importantly, that means you'll need to ensure that you have the full suite of tyres available to you in order to survive whatever the race throws at you. Racing medium tyres are the standard slick, but you'll want to make sure you have intermediate and heavy wet tyres too. You won't need to worry about the tyre wear or fuel consumption though, as both are set to the usual base rate. In order to access these daily races, you'll need to unlock Sport Mode by completing Menu Book 9, the Championship Tokyo Highway Parade in the GT Cafe Single Player Hub. And with Gran Turismo 7's daily races updating every Monday across the game's life to date, the next new set should arrive on Monday, October 2nd. See you there everybody!